guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in and today's video is going to be about my current drugstore favorite items all the way from skin prep down to my lips um there is a couple of things that i left out just because i either don't have them right now or it's something that i usually change around a lot so um, i go over them with you um let you know why i like them today i have a couple of these items on as well and before we get into this video if you haven't already please subscribe like and comment down below and without further ado let's get started so the first thing i want to start off with is my skin preparation there's a couple things that i do and a couple things that i go to like every single time i do my skin preparation um one of them for sure is the milani prep and brighten face oil this is the rose um, i can't remember what the price is but i'll leave um, the name of it in the description box along with all the other products that i talk about today but i put this on before i put anything else on my face I'll, I'll tone my face and then this is the first thing that i put on it's a brightening prep oil my face is super dry so i'll make sure it's hydrated and put everything essential that i need rose it's not a thick oil it's a really thin oil so it doesn't leave my face feeling heavy it just kind of soaks into my face and that's what i really like about it it has a nice like light rose scent yeah it has a nice rose scent very light it's not too heavy and like i said it just silks right into my skin right when i put it on so that's why i really like this oil rose has been really amazing on my skin lately um i've gotten a facial back in june i got a facial and after that i just kept putting rose oil on my face and just really taking care of my skin and my face cleared up so much so um i love to put this on right before i start prepping it with everything else so after that um for moisturizer uh, after the oil i usually i'll either just put the oil then put moisturizer on sometimes i'll put an additional oil on which is um not drugstore so that's why i didn't include it but um, if I'm not, I'll go from the oil right into my moisturizer. So I've been using lately the e.l.f. Super Hydrate um, Moisturizing with Hydrate Squirreling. This is like a gel moisturizer. Um, I didn't know that at first. I thought, I don't know what I thought it was, but because it said hydrating, I'm like, all right, let me try it. But it's kind of like a gel consistency. I don't know if you can kind of see it, but this is what I put on my face um, during the summertime. Because it's a gel, it is lighter, but it's still very hydrating, and that's why I like it. Because like I said, with my dry skin, I need to make sure I always moisturize. So this has... um the light weight of it but still the nice effect of a hydration on my face for primers what i like to use is the unicorn glow hydrating primer fun fact about unicorn glow last year hmm, i would say probably in september ish um i got to work with this company they are a korean um cosmetic brand they just launched in cvs a couple months back but they're only in select cvs and they did their um first launch out here in nyc and i was able to go to this company and do a makeover using all of their products that they have um, while everyone was able to shop around and buy their products and try it out and get little makeovers so um i was so honored and so blessed to be able to work with this company and i actually really love all of their products they have a bunch of different foundations that are very hydrating um i use a a lot of their blushes actually one of my go-to blushes is going to be in this video from them um so they're just an amazing company i really 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 do like their products and again not only do i like it because i was able to work with them but i just like their products in general they really do have a nice hydrating effect to them they have matte one they have honestly they have a bunch of different things they have a setting powder they have a highlighter they have eyeliners they have eyebrow pencils they have lip glosses which i really like their lip glosses as well um so this brand in all in, in general it's just a really cute brand really um nice brand so if you haven't heard of them go check them out and um yeah this is one of my favorite primers right now next i've been using a lot of the elf poreless um putty primer as well this came out a couple months back too i saw when like all the other youtubers were using it and i finally got to try it and i literally use this every single day when i put my makeup on um it's like a, a nice little putty kind of consistency and it really blurs out this area for me i put it just around my nose where my little pores are um, and it really gives it a nice smooth texture a nice smooth look on the face um, so i love this primer i love elf in general their products are just bomb 
So now we're gonna get into the face and today I am actually wearing the NYX Born to Glow foundation. This also came out a couple months ago. I just started using this so this is a new addition to my current favorites. I actually tried this for the first time when I was recording my smoky eye tutorial and unfortunately it cut off halfway while I was recording so you didn't get to see how um, I liked it but I loved how this looked on me. I loved it so much. I used it once after that, which was yesterday, um, and then I'm wearing it today. And just the finish of it is very nice. It's not heavy on my face. A little bit goes a long way. Um, and the way that it blends out is amazing as well. I am wearing its concealer, but it didn't make it to my favorites. Mm, I'm still trying it out. I haven't really found a nice way to kind of use it, but I have other favorite concealers but yeah um this is definitely added to my list right now i really just love it like look at look at this like bye my go-to go-to foundation is the physician's formula healthy foundation i love this foundation i love it love it so 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 much it's my favorite foundation it does not smell the best definitely doesn't smell the best it's not cute but yeah it smells like like paint i don't like it at all but the finish of it is amazing and i also like that it's like a big like concealer brush that you use for it so you don't have to like you can kind of scrape out around it you don't have to like bang to get anything out like i like that and i love the packaging of it it's super cute it's very like luxurious feeling it's heavy it's glass but it's not expensive at all so um i love this foundation it is my top favorite foundation it just gives me a nice natural finish it looks like there's nothing on my face when i wear it like i am in love with this foundation so i definitely recommend this and what's also good about it it does have spf 20 in it so good for the summertime it's not heavy it's not cakey it's just an amazing foundation so i love this foundation and my last favorite is the superstay full coverage 24 hour from maybelline i've had this for a little while now just because i've been going back and forth with my foundations but this is also my favorite before i found out about the physician formula this was my go-to foundation this also is a skin like foundation it's not heavy it, i can literally wear it all day and it looks so fresh like i don't have to touch up on this like this foundation is so amazing i've met multiple makeup artists that use this in their kit i have a couple of these in my kit like it literally stays on all day and it's just a nice light still full coverage foundation like i love this foundation so it's a pump foundation so i like that because it's a pump you don't have to get messy even though this is messy but it's pump foundation it's also glass but these are i think ten dollars or something but amazing foundation i really really recommend this if you want something that's gonna last you all day that's lightweight which honestly the all three that i've mentioned do all of these um so great foundation so for concealer i actually have two concealers that have been my go-to right now first is the elf hydrating camel concealer this also came out a couple months ago it's good for people that are dry skin of course um because it's a hydrating concealer it blends out so beautifully this shade here it's um it's a little dark for me so what i do with this shade this is in the shade light peach what i do with this shade is i actually put a little bit on the bottom here and then i go in with this concealer which is the makeup revolution conceal and define concealer and i put this on top this one is a little bit lighter so it kind of gives me just a nice um fade of brightness into my under eye so that it's not so bright above the cheeks but it has a nice brightness right under my eyes so i like the effect of that and i like that it's hydrating um it doesn't crack on my face um it blends out so nicely and smoothly especially together so i've been using this combo for probably like two months now and i i love it like it's just such a great combination like i said today i use the nyx so i do like how it looked but under my eye i'm getting kind of a little bit of creasing so these i haven't really gotten a lot of creasing with as much as i'm getting the creasing with the nyx one but i love these concealers they blend out really nicely they work work well together um and they really last all day long going into contouring and blush i have two cream palettes that i've been obsessed with First is the e.l.f. cream contour palette. Now, if you have watched any of my other videos, and if you haven't, just stop right now. Click that link above here, or here, I don't know where it's gonna be at. Click that link, go to my last video, look at that. If you don't wanna look at that one, that's fine. There's five other ones that you can look at. So, this is my go-to, go-to, go-to cream contour. I love it, it blends out so nicely. Um, it's broken, that's how much I use it, and 
as you can see it looks crazy but this is my favorite 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 cream contour palette it's like it's amazing it blends out beautifully lasts all day long i'm wearing it today like look at this it's such a natural looking contour and me personally i don't like to have my face looking like i've contoured like i like a natural just a natural bronze natural pretty face so this palette gives me that and i love it i love it i love it so much it's so affordable you see a lot of elf here because elf has really set their game up and their products are just amazing and just super super affordable i think this was like five bucks or four bucks like how can you go wrong with four dollars and and have such a great palette so i love this palette um it's super creamy it blends out nicely and it just sits on your face really well the next cream palette is my elf blush palette i've been obsessed with this lately it has four pretty pink shades in here um i tend to go to these three today i'm wearing a mix of these two so um i love this palette i'm not a huge like i was never a huge cream blush person ever which is some powder blushes but i saw so many new cream blushes coming out so i was like you know what i have already had this let me try it and i do really really like it so honestly every time i do my makeup now i've been using this palette like it's been such a a nice like addition to my routine that um you know i can't go without putting this cream blush on so i'll put this on and then i'll put some powder blush on blush blush powder blush my go-to blush is the unicorn glow blush in honey it's a nice like kind of nudie pinky kind of blush um i don't like my blush to be super pink and if i am doing it super pink i'm doing it to kind of accommodate the eye look i'm going for but most of the time in any of my looks this is the blush that i'm gonna have on top of that cream blush this is what i have on today it just gives it a nice subtle finish it just gives it a nice kind of tying together with this look like just any look in general this blush is just like a nice overall blush for you to wear every day and just it kind of just it just fits with every look that you go for honestly so and for highlight my go-to highlight has been the wet and wild hello halo this is in the shade after sex glow it comes with um a blush and a highlight but i don't really use the blush because my blushes i don't like um shimmer in my blushes i like just regular matte blushes so i don't really use this but um all of when wild highlighters are just amazing they have great pigmentation they have nice payoff i didn't use this one today i but i did use a wet and wild highlight so if you can see like very nice very subtle um but usually this is my go-to highlight i love this one this is i think six dollars super affordable you can find them in rite aids walgreens target um on any drugstore that you can go to so for lipstick i've been using the nabi mocha lip liner um i actually got this off of amazon it was like a pack of lip liners so i have probably came with like 30 different shades of lip liners but i tend to go to this one in the dark brown this is what i have on today as well my go-to lip is my nude lip it's usually a a darker lip liner and then lighter shades in the middle or pinky shades in the middle depending on you know how i'm feeling that day but this is my go-to it glides on very smoothly um it sharpens really well it lasts it doesn't last all day because you know it's a lip liner but it's still a great lip liner and for lipsticks my go-to lipstick has been this lipstick here it's from maybelline it is in the shade nude lust it's this really pretty kind of like silky lipstick it's a nice nude color glides on super smoothly um i've used this today and i've been using this one as well in a lot of my other looks um it just has a nice finish to it it has a nice texture to it and it just feels like really nice gliding on my lips as you saw it was just really super smooth so i've been using this every single time i do my lips now and on top of it i'll put this lip gloss i bought a new one recently can't find it but this is the ColourPop juicy lip gloss it's a lip plumping lip gloss in the shade roundabout it's i think six dollars it's amazing lip gloss i either if i'm not putting lipstick on my lip i'll just line my lips and put this and it gives me a nice pout to my lips um a nice like color to my lips a natural color the only thing i'm, I'm starting to not like about this is it's super super sticky um so i haven't been using it as much as i normally use it but this is normally my go-to lip gloss if i'm wearing makeup if i'm not wearing makeup um it gives me a nice tingling sensation because of the plumping agents and i'm wearing it today on top of this lipstick and as you can see it's that is all of my current favorite drugstore products um like i said it was a great range of my skin prep and so my lips um these are what i usually go to what i grab every single time i'm doing my makeup um i'll switch out some things here and there but majority of the time these are what i'm using 
these are super affordable they last really long they help me get that natural look that i'm always looking for so definitely recommend it like i said i will list all of the names in the description box below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe hit that thumbs up button if you want to see more videos like this one till then i'll see you in my next video